guys welcome back to my channel um i hope you guys have been well uh, if you're new to my channel hello my name is langi love and i would love love if you would subscribe to my channel um the button is down there i'm so excited for today's video because it was highly requested in my comment section even in my dms i knew that i just had to do a part two i did my previous video was a part one to your guys um stories about your weirdest or just like bad breakups um you guys enjoyed it so i'm here to film a part two unfortunately silly is not gonna be my guest is so fired she filmed one video and now she's lazy to film the next she's that's all right because there's nothing holding me back from reading your guys stories but if you haven't seen part one i suggest you go ahead and watch it and then come back to this one or if not you can just watch this one but other than that let's get straight into this video let's go let's start with the shorter ones my ex would say abusive words to me and be so overprotective glad i ended it massive no abusive words i'm glad you left because abusive words could eventually lead to physical abuse if you ever come across that sign first boom leave straight away i broke up with my ex because all he wanted was to have sex not only that but he was using me for money i didn't have we were together for nearly four nearly four to five years so i have i gave him chances but i realized i was so wrong so i ended the relationship and let him go love loyalty and compassion is what matters more in a relationship money comes later money doesn't buy anyone's happiness I mean, sis, you said it all on you said it all on your own. You don't believe this yet that money cannot buy happiness, then like come on. One, four to five years? Like what? Not worth it. Keep it. It's a bit of a long, embarrassing one. We were together for three years and I was 17. I moved away but we were still together and a few months after I moved, my little brother called me saying there was a pregnant girl that came with him to his family. So I confronted him about it and he said he was the baby daddy. But it was a mistake and he doesn't love her and he won't marry her. He'll wait for me, blah, 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 laugh out loud. Anyway, my stupid ass considered all of it and thought, oh no, oh no one's perfect, I'll give him another chance. So we still stayed together the next few months coming up to his daughter's birth. And I found out that whole time we got back, he was already married to the baby mama. I mean, what? Of course I confronted him again and he said he had no choice his mom forced him but he loved but he loved me and it was then that i realized i was the dumbest person on earth so i told him we were done i'm literally i'm literally the worst type of stupid in the universe i'm so mad right now <laughs> they are trying to hold on to their old life and create a new life with plan b at the same time and no Ladies, we are not plan B. Hey girl, you're not stupid. We all be there. We all do those things. Even I do. I dated this guy back in 2017 and we were together for a whole year. I didn't tell him what I was doing for the Christmas break. And he said he was going to his family reunion. And I said, oh my gosh, yes, me too. Sirs. Oh my gosh, she's about to spell the tea. I was doing name registrations for my family. And then turned around and he was standing there with his family. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is like the worst thing ever. I called him cuz uh, <laughs> the whole day and he got pissed and left the reunion and never showed up again. <laughs> I mean, what else is he supposed to do? Like, hey babe, no. <laughs> it's hey guys. You just have to be careful. So my advice to you ladies is before you marry a Samoan or just marry any islander, Get to know your history first, ask the questions, <laughs> ask about the history because the last thing we need is another cousin. <laughs> 
guy I dated in high school, there was only one person who knew about us dating and it was my girl cousin. Anyway, if you know, you know, strict parents, me, strict parent things. So I wasn't allowed to go anywhere with him. One day my best friend came and told me that she saw my cousin with a guy at the movies and she took a photo of them and guess what? It was my boyfriend. <laughs> found out they were low-key dating behind my back. Family isn't determined by blood, it's loyalty. I'm now dating the love of my life. We've been together for two years now, so I really do believe in good things come to those who wait and believe in God's plan. Sis has been through it. I give it up to you, sis. I had just left high school and then I went to a new school because it was close to home shortly after leaving. Like three to four months I had met this guy and he wanted to date me and me being a moi pia I said yes. Anyways that got me that got me hated at school and the girls I kicked it with started to get salty because one of the girls in the group had a big crush on him. Oh, the story it, it gives me high school vibes like literally. Just reading this makes me feel like I'm high school again. I had a big crush on him and I just got there months prior and stole her man. But promise I didn't know but promise I didn't know nothing until I left that school. Anyways, back to the story. We dated for a year or so. He was in the rugby academy. They went to Oz for the rugby trip and his best friend had called me. And he told me that he had kissed the rugby coach's daughter. What? <laughs> if I heard that I'm on a ticket to Australia. <laughs> I wanted to fafai her muku <laughs> but anyway that had happened and I cried and asked I asked him about it and he said that they had a little bit too much to drink I will not be so so I fear you high school like how cool they got to go overseas or rugby like my school never got to do that I broke up with him and his best friend had confided in me shout out to his best friend who I later dated for a little bit I <laughs> Growing up, we had often traveled around New Zealand for church fellowship. Fast forward to my last year of high school, I dated a guy I had grown up with in the years of these fellowships. We were so committed to the whole long distance thing, two years of it. I know, I was so loyal. It's just not me, it's not in me to have an eye for another guy. So I like you already. Anyways, during the two years we were dating, his church traveled overseas. When they had returned back to New Zealand, there were a lot of rumors of going around about him it's always when they travel hey it's like when they travel to another country they think they're you know brand new my older brother ended up hearing about what had happened and asked if i had known my brother is my weakness i understand their tough love for our sisters the rumors was my ex the minister's daughter was caught by someone having intercourse in one of the rooms at the resort that the church was staying at my brother and my Oh, my brother advised me to ask my ex straight up if the rumors were true. The minister's daughter. So her her ex was getting it on with the minister's daughter on a fellowship trip. What? Is this what we're doing now? Cause get me. So I did, and sis, did he get? so mad saying stuff like she's my best friend or this other oh i'm so sick boys if you're gonna make an excuse one she's not your cousin two she's not your best friend we already know okay we ladies have the instinct you're lying oh my gosh i'm getting angry <laughs> I'm, I'm getting back to the story it's really hard for me to always have that question in the back of my head if the story was true or not so i did myself a favor and ended things i had later on found out that my brother was actually told by the person who caught them i had ended things that same week i found out the girl was pregnant and was about to give birth don't you hate it when you trust your instinct and then you end up going back to the guy and then when you when you break up and you down the line you find out like your instinct was like telling the truth <sighs> oh my gosh like girls are powerful we have this thing i think it's a sick thing did the math and all added up to the time they had left for their trip overseas she ended up Mar she ended up marrying someone else. My ex stayed single and a few years after that the PK had her second son and named him after my ex. What? <laughs> Kids start looking like they have the same dad is a different story. Thank God. 
He gave me wisdom, strength and self-worth to even recognize disrespect. So disgusting and honestly in the eyes of everyone around them, yuck. Give it up for my sis here because that is a lot to go through. Like, damn. I, I, I'm so, I'm, I'm so, I thought my stories were bad. Like, not bad, like, I'm not, you know. No, I thought I went through so much. Like, when I read these stories, it's like, bro, like, my heart would, like, I don't know. Because when I read these, I'm like, I don't know how I would react if I would get mad or get sad. Like, damn. That is so glad to my sis who is now surviving. She's really happy. I know this. This girl said to call her Louise. Because she's... I'm not going to expose you guys. Don't worry. But let's just say her name's Louise. Back long ago, I was seeing a guy. We were just buddies. <laughs> if you get my drift. Me and my friend went out one night because we lived in a small town. The bars were stink. So I texted my buddy Ryan to see what he was up to. He was having drinks at his and told me my friend... Oh, told me and my friend to come over i get there and he's instantly interested in my friend sorry like whoa what the hell i mean even though we were buddies that still didn't mean he could hit on my bloody friend so people started leaving and i was hoping me and ryan would leave like the leave the group and go to his room to sleep <laughs> I had Mahi the next day, but, hel but hello, no. He was chilling and vibing with my friend who was just as interested. In the end, I couldn't handle their flirting, so I left them and left to his flatmate's room and slept with him. And by sleep, I mean sleep, so just sleep, guys. We had no ride home and being a small town there was no taxi so we had no choice but to stay there in the morning i woke up and was instantly wanting to go to get the heck out of there i couldn't even look at my friend she was meant to be my best friend ryan took us home and had the audacity to ask my friend for her number right in front of me i slammed the door and said no and then later that night he messaged me over asking for her number it was over no more buddy that's for sure me and my friend ended up getting over it she told me he eventually got her number via fb and messaged to go to the movies with her but she declined because that's what good friends should do right i mean <laughs> if that's my friend <laughs> oh, a year later a year later guess who i saw in town my old mate ryan <laughs> We, we rekindled our relationship but it didn't last because I just couldn't trust him. The end. I'm gonna be so petty. Like, I need, I still need some growing up to do, guys. But still, it would make my blood boil. I'd be like, you already know I've been single for seven years. It's my only chance and you want to take him? Okay. We'll start. We were very... You know growing about it and you guys got over it and you still didn't fight over that one guy because you know it's just not worth it especially if it's a ryan okay even mm, whatever i was 17 dated this guy for probably two months things didn't work out so i ended our relationship the dude was heartbroken and he said he was gonna commit suicide oh. you know what people that break up and you know just use the term that term that particular term so lightly like just to you know mm -mm. No, uh, uh. I was dead and scared and said I was kidding oh, I was dead scared and said I was kidding see this is why this is a no-no because it just scares the person and they just you know our relationship continued and every time he gets upset or see any dude comment on my photos on Bebo Oh, Bebo! <laughs> Guys, comment down below if you were in the Bebo days. Hey! Is he'll commit suicide, blah blah. Got to a stage, I knew this dude is playing with me, so I decided to end things for real this time. 
and of course he said he was going to commit suicide i got so sick of it and said head how many meters of rope do you need i'll send it over on oh her situation she just knew that he was using it as an excuse there are two types of people there's people that when they say it they actually mean it and unfortunately things don't end up well and then there's two people that just use and abuse the term just to get things their way suicide is not a joke only can you not use that term lightly not only affecting you that person that says it but also the person you're saying it to because you're literally leading them astray and making them think that you're actually gonna do it when you're not if you're out there and you use the term lightly just know that people actually leave this earth because of it and it's not something that you should use just to keep someone like it's one selfish and really unfair a guy thought I wasn't showing him my lovey-dovey side, which at the time I thought was a excuse until three years later this year. I realized how much of an I was, but hey, he was my first ever and last, because single things since then. Friend and second of all, he was still a bit of a <laughs> Felt like I was the boy in our relationship. You know what? I low-key can relate to this, because naturally I'm very a nurturing person, but when when you get in relationships you don't know how to separate the difference between nurturing and like showing love to the person in a relationship way so you know it's it's a bit of a it's a weird thing so i guess if you're a boy you do need to understand that we're not gonna you know jump straight into the lovey dovey phase like you know some people some people are different it's a part of learning and you and you've learned your lesson <laughs> we're all on a single boat right now god loves us he will give us someone special soon okay i'm happily married now but back in the day in my teenage years i used to dance a lot more of it was hip-hop and the guy that i was dating at the time didn't like like me dancing because some of it was a bit raunchy <laughs> i was aware of this but hey it's just dancing nothing serious did explain to him so many times that dancing is just a form of art and that he shouldn't take it serious or personal one time he was watching me dance and i didn't know that he was there <laughs> took a leap of faith and did a bit of raunchy dancing it was just part but it was just part of the routine i had no control of it but when i thought that he wasn't there watching i did it anywhere <laughs> i did it anyway i started to shake my hands <laughs> The move was almost like twerking. <laughs> it was a twerking like move. <laughs> and as I and as I was shaking my ass. <laughs> and as I was shaking my ass, I turned to the right. <laughs> as I was shaking my ass, I turned to the right and there he was. He was my boyfriend <laughs> staring right at me. <laughs> Got up so fast and carried on with the rest of the choreography. After the dance was over, I checked my phone and he said it was over. <laughs> God, my, my makeup is ruined. I was so hurt. <laughs> I was so hurt because dancing is my passion. I. I eventually texted him back. I did apologize and I did I did say I did explain the whole dance is just a form of art. I told him moving forward that I would continue dancing that I would continue dancing and I'll just lay low a bit on the raunchy moves. <laughs> he didn't believe me and he said that he had to choose that I had sorry I had to choose either him or my passion and I said my passion I mean, <laughs> I can't breathe. I seriously cannot breathe. I mean, I don't know how to look at this because I kind of can relate to both the girl and the boy. Oh, the girl is the one that's into therapy. That's my video for today. Thank you guys 
so much for sending through your stories as a very 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 strong woman hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys are staying safe during this uh, weird time i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video Mwah! bye